That didn't take long. Huh? <laughs> you got your pool dirty and you have rooted. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. You've almost upended the pool. Hi, everyone. We're so friendly. Yep, I can see all the guilty parties with the dirty snouts. Huh? They're beautiful piggies. Took in. Um, they were found in an abandoned, kind of a hoarding type of situation, I guess. And so a bunch of people worked together, predominantly one woman, the woman that brought them to us, but there were lots of parties involved. I'm getting them from Florida here. They drove them the whole way. Every one of them has been fixed and yeah, they're just healthy and happy guys now and girls. Um, it's really gross water already. I can't believe that we scrubbed that pool. Oh, and that's why, because they're climbing in it to potty. This morning, we all had to work together. They were on their way. Um, so we all worked together to kind of come up with a plan for where to put them because with a group this big, this is definitely the biggest group I've taken on. With a group this big, I didn't want to just throw them in with all of our pigs. There would be just too much fighting and commotion. What do you think, buddy? So originally I had thought this whole area here, we lined with, with chain link panels. So my thought was to put them in this area at first. And then I kind of backtracked because there's just too much temptation, I think, no to break free. And if they did, it's not secondary fenced, I suppose is the way to describe it. This is double chain linked pens attached with roofs. Um, and it's not a big enough space for them, obviously long-term, but plenty of room for them for like a day or two while they settle in. And it keeps them out of the rain. And I have some peace of mind where I know if they did bust out any area they would be breaking out into on any side is also fenced and some of them multiple fence lines so yeah things to consider with pigs strong and smart so um i just keep coming out here and like throwing food to them also so that they understand like this is a good place you're gonna get your food you're gonna get your water um they've met some of the animals and some of the other pigs through the fence line and then i'm thinking over the next few days in sets of like two I will let them meet our gang. I'll go ahead and say I'm, I think I'm going to be fundraising a little bit, just lightly. I haven't done any fundraising in uh, probably a year or two. Um, I think the last time was for, for horses, but I really would like to get some more cattle panels or hog panels um, to secure the pig pen expansion. I covered some. Oh, you're so cute, <laughs> my babies. My other hand is holding my baby or I would be petting each of these snoots. And I boop the phone. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. You're so cute. Um, okay, so. Uh, we use the, like, Oh, hot wire fencing, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it does work for pigs, but it's a lot of maintenance, a lot of maintenance and upkeep that with babies has been very challenging. 
um, because if any part of it gets overgrown or something falls on it or a deer jumps it and tears it down, it's just kind of delicate fencing. <laughs> and so I don't want to risk anyone escaping. And so especially with all these new ones, I would really, really like to add, yeah, like the, however, whatever you want to call it, hog panel, cattle panels, those are indestructible. That absolutely will hold a pig forever. And it's about the only fencing that will. So I'm gonna need quite a few of them for my dream sized pig pen. Um, and they're not cheap. So um, with this also being the time of year when we're having to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on hay and bedding and structures and things for winter. This is everybody and they all have names and I remember some of them. There's Poppy, Iris, Jordan, Willow. That's only half. I gotta look up the rest of them. <laughs> I don't have their names memorized yet. This is dad, I know that. And dad is missing one eye. All right, I'm gonna put you up there while I finish getting dinner ready. It is HelloFresh meal. Not sponsored at all. But we've been doing HelloFresh. Ignore all of the construction mess behind me. We've been doing HelloFresh since, I think, yeah, I was pregnant when we kind of started, I think. And at the time it was just because like living way out here, it's a pain in the butt to get to a grocery store. And the local grocery store overcharges so much for everything that it is legitimately cheaper to do this just a couple nights a week. And then afterwards, kind of the same thing. I'm just so busy and it's convenient. I have lots of vegan options though. So like tonight, this is what we're having. It's probably every, um, I'll be generous and say every other. I wanted to say every single one. Every other that we have to contact customer service and make a complaint. The first like six months that we were doing it, they could not get the orders to us in time and then they switched the delivery person that they were using. Like they went from, I think they were doing UPS originally and now they do FedEx. That sorted out, we've gotten it on time. There's just always issues <laughs> and they're quick to offer refunds and credits and it's usually like large amounts for a cheap item. So like our tomato was rotten last week and they'll give you like a $6 credit for a rotten tomato obviously you can replace that tomato. But the issue is you don't know it was rotten until you've opened up the bag and you're ready to make dinner and you don't have anything else planned for dinner and you may not have tomatoes in your fridge. And then you realize like you don't have the tomato ingredient you need. Yes, the tomato is not worth $6, but now the whole meal is kind of wrong. So it's like really inconvenient. So we stick with it, even though, I don't know, some people, I think a lot of people actually probably would have quit them. <laughs> because there's so many issues. I think probably in another six months to a year, maybe we'll have to look into more of like a family plan, whether that's just adding another person to this one or finding kind of more family friendly ones because Huxley does like to eat sometimes quite a big portion of the meals. Wonder though what the plan is gonna be in like a couple of years when if we're lucky enough, we'll have more than two kids even that are eating food. This is going to turn into like a little bit of a, just a chat. I have just been thinking all day how it is already a week into December and I am just trying to frantically get you guys through like my November videos and Thanksgiving. I think I finally finished editing all the way through Halloween in October. <laughs> Reeling a little bit, trying to catch up. Uh, December, we're a week into it. And so some years I've even done Vlogmas, which blows my mind now thinking back on that because there's no chance I'm gonna get Vlogmas done. My decorations are up 90% of the way. And that's probably as far as we're getting this year. I didn't do like the outside garlands or hardly any exterior decorating. And I'm about to have a second cup of coffee. <laughs> my first one is small. Does that make it better? Mostly because my Facebook account, my Adrian Rochelle Facebook account, was hacked um, completely. Cannot access it. Cannot do anything. I, I've i never had anything like this happen. I'm usually really cautious and careful online, so I'm just like beside myself about how these things happen. Yeah. 
Um, it's also going to be sad if I don't get it back. Obviously, I've spent years and years working on it. Uh, it's not like massive. I think I have like 2,500 followers or something. So it's not necessarily about that. And it's not like I made money on it. I didn't even really keep up with it all that well. But still, it's something that like tells my story. I It's making it. It's making it. It can't go any faster. What? I have invested a, a lot of time in. And I would be really upset to lose it, even if it doesn't like necessarily serve a significant purpose. I'm having such a bad day that I don't even feel like I should open this. I should just wait until tomorrow. But we just found out that my mom's horse, the big white, like Pertron Gypsy Cross that she got from auction and then immediately had to turn around and spend $5,000 on at UGA and build a special barn for is the same issue. Basically, they, they said, we, we've done what we can. We can't fix it. <laughs> Here's your horse back. And for a while, the issue was better, but it's back. It's called quitters. And so we just had a second opinion and prognosis is still not good. Basically, both of them at one point or another used the euthanasia word. So yeah, we've just got some really terrible decisions to make. Um, and that's after like my Facebook account is gone. It's hacked. It's possibly goodbye forever. This is either going to make me feel a lot better or worse. <laughs> I did a really, well, I guess we're going to find out if it was crazy and stupid or not. I ordered plants online. It was a website that's seems to have good reviews, but still this is so out of character for me. I did it like the middle of the night and I did it kind of because the, the plant was on sale. The one I really wanted was on sale. It's a Monstera Thai constellation. With these, variegation matters. And that's something obviously you can't pick. It's seller's choice when you buy online. And so I'm just setting myself up for there to be like known. Okay, this leaf got a little cracked. This is the big leaf. I'm trying to be really gentle with it because it just had a journey. And then you've got this one behind it. That's also pretty decent sized and variegated. I'm happy. This, these new little guys down here. And also the, there's not a ton of variegation in this big stem, but these little ones, the stems have quite a bit, quite a bit of potential. Here's a confession. Normally when I have to, come out of my gate to take care of the animals that are across the street, which right now consists of donkeys, cows, goats, horses. Half of them are supposed to be the other way, but whatever. Normally I like, at least will pretend that I got dressed, you know, like pants, leggings, coat. Today I was like, no, I'm in a bad mood. I'm not even. Um, although I hit my head really hard on a chair a minute ago. It hurts really bad and in my head, like that's just par for the course of today, right? Anyways, I didn't even need to come out here. Oh my God. Look at this horse. Are you kid? Are you kidding? No, I wish I hadn't. What have you done? How? Let me, come here. Let's see your forelock. Come here. Yeah, what forelock, right? Like that's usually down past his eye. <gasps> I'm never gonna be able to get this out. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Lord. No, don't go get your head stuck. Easy, don't go get your head stuck either. Yeah, you're scared. He, I can't tell you how many times this horse has gotten his head. He puts it sideways through here, puts it upright and cannot figure out how to like do the reverse and we have to push him out. So now he's afraid. Not afraid of the gate, but afraid of us pushing his head back through the gate. Holy, ow. Okay, yep. Guess I'm gonna be doing this for a while. Ugh. Oh, I see you. Thank you for not participating in whatever he got into. Although he's the only one with a beautiful long mane that could even do that. Anyways, hey girls. You want some alfalfa? Sure thing. So, okay, what was I saying? Yeah. 
Normally when I come out this way, <clears throat> since it's slightly more like in public, so to speak, nobody ever drives down this road, but without fail, someone will. Normally I will pretend to be dressed slightly more presentable. Well, today I said no. I said I've had a day. I'm going to dress however I want. I'm an adult. I'm in my 30s. I don't care what people think of me anymore. I'm not trying to impress anyone. So I came out here thinking, forget it, I don't care. <laughs> it's up in this bathroom, as you can see. <laughs> and I'm in flannel Christmas pajamas and fuzzy socks with sandals. Yeah, let me tell you, I thought I heard a car. You know how fast that big talk <laughs> in my head went out the window as I went running as fast as I could to hide? I'm also pretty sure that I got it all on my camera that we have out in front of the house. So. I will be checking that footage back. I flailed frantic hide behind a tractor in the barn because I couldn't tell which way it was coming from. <sighs> so dumb. What are you doing? This is part of Huxley's gift. And actually, we almost returned this for a few reasons. <laughs> I'm not returning it. And so instead, <clears throat> I'm going to try to paint this black because I like that better. Oh, that's a big piece. Wow. What is it? It hits against the tape. It's kind of holding it, too. You, there's a lot of tape. Hmm? Mm. Wow. This is a genius toy. And it matches mommy's perfectly. And it actually vacuums. This is the doggy Christmas. Bunch of donut bags. <laughs> There's actually more of them. You just like the spoon? sick. We have not had a good night's sleep in days. Toys everywhere. I'm gonna look at these two. They together so happy. Every will just want to watch Huxley forever. I can't wait for him to actually be able to play. I didn't realize <clears throat> how tired and sick I look. It makes sense. I am sick and tired. Uh, you haven't seen anything new from me in a very long time. <laughs> I basically accidentally sort of took a break over the holidays. Uh, my Facebook account, the response I got said that it's like a known issue. It's been happening a lot. A lot of people I've talked to are also getting emails from Facebook <clears throat> attempting to like reset their passwords or something, which wasn't what I clicked on, but there's just a huge surge in hacks, I guess. Yeah. To be totally honest, the customer, the support that I've gotten from Facebook has been atrocious. <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's really, really bad. You know, they started out being um, pretty encouraging. Oh, we'll have it sorted out in 24 to 48 hours. And then it just kind of like, all fell apart very quickly and I realized like they didn't even like all of it seemed to be pretty automated responses 
um, and they weren't really what? Hey, do you want up? And they just really hadn't even, as far as I could tell, read my description of the issue. We're over a month now. Um, they haven't even responded to my last few inquiries. It, it's pretty much dead in the water. So that sort of was the catalyst for me just saying, you know what, like, I don't know. Social media is, I'm in a, like a strange place with it right now. I hear a lot of people say that. Uh, so to top it off, <laughs> hi. Uh, my MacBook also stopped working again. This has been like a broken record thing with me from the day I bought this brand new, absolutely the nicest MacBook Pro they had available at the time in the very end of 2019. From the minute I turned this thing on, it's just had issues. And if I'd been more familiar with Macs, I probably would have returned it right away. I should have because this was clearly like something deeply embedded. <laughs> In this computer the software or something so hopefully with any luck when we all start feeling better again i will be inspired to actually edit this and upload some videos i do have like little clips from the holidays and from a couple different little things we've got going on there's always stuff like we've taken in a ton of animals for people who are interested in that <laughs> we're absolutely still rescuing animals we're still working on a thousand farm projects none of that has changed it's just my sharing all of it that's kind of <laughs> gone downhill so i will get you guys up to speed soon though but that's just a quick hello hopefully i will come back and you will see this and that is why